hi everyone and welcome back and in the next set of videos on the next js we are going to talk about the testing so testing can be done in different ways like unit testing functional testing integration testing and then you can also get the coverage of your test cases whatever you have written so here the testing uh, we are going to use a different set of library like nyc istanbul and the mocha uh, chai for the assertion and you can also use just for running these test cases so nestjs has a good integration with uh, the just also so we can you can write a unit test you can write integration test unit test is like testing the controllers testing the services testing the helper methods you have written and integration test or you can call the e2e test that we are doing to actually test the apis whatever you have written so we can actually create a test folder parallel to src so here is my test folder and inside test we can do a lot of things oh, i think i have created it in the wrong place let me move it okay we have this test folder now inside test we can actually create a folder which is e2e and we can see one folder mock okay and uh, these two are fine so all the unit tests like test cases for the services we are going to write in the src and all the test cases which are e2e where we are going to use a super test to call the actual api after mocking some services we will make a call to the actual api and we'll check okay the status code is coming the body content is proper all these are test cases we are going to write so that we will write here currently in the code if you see we have one controller this is a user controller and api v1 users post method is there so we will write few more methods so that we can have uh, the nice understanding about the e2e test cases we are writing okay and we will run this application so first let's talk about the unit test unit test uh, we can write we already have the setup of writing the unit test if you go to the package.json here we have npm run test unit npm run test e2e so where are we looking at for the unit test i mean we are just providing the env.test this is the mocha ts node register because we are running the test against the typescript files okay and we are looking for this particular spec i mean this particular pattern inside source folder for the e2e test we are looking inside a test folder because e2e test we are going to write in the test folder maybe test e2e folder and the unit tests we are going to write in parallel to the services in parallel to the controllers we have already written right so you can just simply go ahead npm run test unit npm run test e2e and then finally we have a script also to get the coverage so you can just do npm run cover which will just run the unit test integration test and it will generate the report so while generating coverage we always get a lot of trouble okay the coverage is not coming the html report is not coming it is showing undefined all those things i also face those set of issues while generating the coverage of uh, e2e and unit tests combined so we will talk about it we are using nyc for that then we will also think about using the uh, just here we are generating the alcov report and text summary means whenever it's going to put the text summary on the command line okay and also we'll generate a report in the index.html inside a coverage folder all these information we are putting so here if you see the reporter is this nyc silent it silently generates the the report of e2e and unit test cases okay so we will run the we will write some unit test cases first of all how to write unit test cases because nestjs is little bit different not than not same as what we were writing in the express uh, unit test and integration test integration tests are kind of similar because we, what we are doing is we are actually hitting the actual api and checking the response back okay so we have this controller we have our services and we can write some test cases for that so here i can write user dot user dot service dot spec dot ts okay so in this test case now coming to the test cases of the services what thing what all things we have to take care 
because the test cases particularly unit test cases we have to mock the actual services in the user service we are actually talking to the user repository which is a type ORM thing in, while writing in the unit test cases you have to mock it because you can't make a database connections and you get the actual data that is not possible we are writing unit test cases here so we have to mock the services even whatever the JWT service or the the passport services you are writing you also will be mocking those set of services okay so let's write the service here what we will do is we will write the test case for uh, user service and we already have all the modules which are required like the nest.js testing okay so i can start writing it so we will be using this describe it block and all I mean th that is a basic jasmine syntax okay I'm going to test the user service and it takes two argument right one is a callback and inside this I will be defining all the test cases using assertion it okay so I will be just now we have to create the test bed test bed means because we have the nest.js module we are creating right so we have to create the test bed like whatever the dependency we have in the application so based on that we will create a test bed so here what i will do is const module equal to i mean before running each and every test case i have to initialize it so i will say is before each this is a hook which we can use to do a sync initialization of our modules okay and after each we can actually also close the application right let's say this is the before each block and inside this we will get the module so it's kind of a same syntax you will be writing uh, most of the time so it is test dot create and test we can get from nest.js testing this we all already imported test dot create testing module and in the create testing module it takes an object inside the object you will define all your imports all your providers and all these things if you are not overriding any pro any imports skip them i will just adding the providers providers means all the services and we will always be mocking the services because controllers are nothing but a routes they are going to call the services and services are the one which will give us the data right so i have a user service so i will try to mock this service because this service is going to talk to uh, type rm to give me the data right so this is the user service and here we can actually uh, mock it by providing so here i will just say provide and the value so what we are doing is what we are trying to get is get repository token repository token that is required in the test cases and we are trying to get the user and use value means what value it will provide empty object I mean, this is how we are doing the mocking and this we can get from type rm and the user entity we are talking this also we can get from entity so what what this is saying is okay there is a user service talking to the the type rm repository i wanted to mock it so you will get repository token a particular service will talk to at least one or two entity so you can actually do the provide okay get repository token user and use this particular value and once this is done you can also put the, the import statements like whatever the modules your user service is using the whole module is using but that is optional here we are talking about testing the service okay after this we can actually use compile and now so now here we got the module now we need to get the service so here we'll create the instance of a service let user 
service and that is a instance of actual user service we have and now we can get the user service uh, we have already defined user service we can get from the created module await module dot get so it's like a container of all the services where you can get a particular service so here I will say is uh, give me a user service from this okay I got the user service now I can do a lot of things with this you can actually create a describe it block inside this and start testing the user service user service after mock and inside it block you can just call a particular method testing get by id method this method it it block can be async okay depends on what you are doing is now here you will write your assertion right so you would need the accept and all these uh, expect uh, or the assertion libraries like you can use a chai which will give you a whole set of different assertion methods okay we can use expect and here we are doing type of simple type of user service dot so here get by id get by id let's say i'm passing one so two equals expect dot two equal i'm doing something wrong here so this is a type of this and this get by id is taking one as a string so let's pass this as a string dot equals or that should be two equals method two string <coughs> That depends on what assertion library we are using to not equals we can also check if it is there not equals null right our one test case we have written so whenever you are calling get by id method it will not come as a null right now you can add another assertions testing get by email method and you'll be passing another call i mean you'll be calling get by email and you'll be passing test at, at the gmail.com i mean you can actually also validate what is the response we are going to get and there is another method we have which is testing register method which is method is i think dot register and it takes what it is taking uh, it is taking user dto so it should be an object we are passing with all the required parameter okay because there is an email i think and uh, username email name and there are three arguments one is a password okay we are passing all you can create a separate type i mean you can create a fixture and you can call this so a plain and simple uh, test case unit test case we have written right here first of all we have to initialize the test bed using create testing module get your particular service from that and now you start calling your service methods now this is a simple example i'm not saying that these tests will run or not but this is how we create the testing setup you get the service now you keep calling the methods of a service right now we have already mock these methods that these are going to just return undefined null from an, an object get repository token right this is a type rm method to actually mock the repository service which we are injecting inside the user service if you see the actual user service here we are injecting this repository here user so we have to mock it if we wanted to test this particular service and how we are doing it we are simply uh, get repository token for this entity and value is empty object okay uh, as simple as possible now 
you can also mock other services like uh, you are using uh, auth middleware service which is checking your token is authorized or not but while writing the unit test or integration test you can't validate it because you are talking to the firebase service or auth0 service to validate it but you are writing end to end and unit test cases you can't validate it so you will be passing some mock token and you will be overriding that service same as like this right so here there are other methods uh, e dot use provider dot override method i think override provider so what you will specify here is a particular service name let me come to this override provider dot then this should be use value either you specify it like that or like this so override provider here let's say you are using a one particular service okay we can also create a service inside this also let's say i'm creating a test dot service dot ts and i will for now copy some of the method from this class so we can talk about it so this is a test service i have created and i will just call this method is say hi and it is going to return email i don't have this dependency injection and all in this it's a simple service we have now this service can be your middleware service or something else this is a test service okay now this test service is being being injected in your user service okay and we have only one method say hi don't need to make it a wait this we are injecting inside user service so how we will inject this is the first one then second one is private read only so test service we are injecting we can import the test service okay now test service is another method service we are calling and there is one method say hi say hello right and what we are doing is we are calling another service method this dot i will do return this dot test service dot some method say hi and passing email getting it simple method now to test this particular functionality we have also have to mock this particular service maybe there is some complex logic written in this particular service which we are calling test service right so we have to inject it inside our user service so how do we do this in the spec override provider okay i am trying to override the method definition of a particular method inside a test service and what i want to do is i think this will take an object let me just see it will be on an object and here we you have to talk about the method name which you are overriding so in the test service there is a method say hi and what you are saying is take the definition of say hi like this okay let me see if something is wrong this is the function name and this function because here what you are providing is say hi is a function and it is just returning an empty string or you can say the test so what you did is you actually mock this test service and it's one and only one method say hi which is being called from this user service and saying okay it will return test now you already know it is going to return test so you can actually write an assertion that when you are going to call the say hello function user service dot say hello and whatever the you are passing that should comes out as equals to test you have written right just format this 
Oh, you are good. Okay, so this is how you can override provider. It can be any service, Azure provider service, S3, uh, AWS S3 service, because you can't uh, actually call those services. You are mocking them. It can be a auth middleware, and you will just, uh, there is a method of authenticate. You will return the test token or test user payload, which you are uh, returning after decoding the authentication token. Okay. So this is how we are doing a mock. So in the next video, I will run this test case and then we will write the end-to-end -end test case also.